Drake is one of the most popular rappers today, and he has a lot to lose when it comes to the empire he has built. So I don't quite understand why he goes out of his way to engage with minors. He has quite a history when it comes to women who are barely legal, and at this rate, he's going to be the next R. Kelly. So let's get into it. So Drake is a 34-year-old rapper from Toronto. You guys may recognize him from his early days on the television show Degrassi, but most people know him from his music because he's been extremely successful in mainstream media. Today, we're going to be focusing on Drake's inappropriate relationships with young women. And by young women, I don't mean 21, 22, 23-year-old women. I'm talking 14, 15, and 16-year-old girls who are also selected celebrities themselves. Let's start off by talking about Drake's relationship with Millie Bobby Brown. So Millie is currently 17, but she met Drake when she was only 14 years old, and she shared details about how she met him to reporters on the red carpet. I love him. I met him in Australia, and um, he's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great, uh, great role model. You know, we text, we just texted each other the other day, and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. You guys heard it for yourself. A 14-year-old Millie Bobby Brown was texting Drake, who's a 31-year-old man and shouldn't be texting any minor that he misses them. It's already clear that their relationship is uncomfy, but as the interview continues, it only gets worse. He's coming to Atlanta, so I'm definitely going to go and see him. I'm so excited, yeah. You and Drake? That's Text. awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> So at this point, Millie already had plans to go and hang out with a man who was twice her age. There's no blame to put on Millie, but Drake should know that this is not alright. And it was weird to see them posting pictures of each other on social media. Millie captioned a photo of them together with a heart, and actually Drake sent over some merch to Millie before his album dropped back in 2018. So they obviously have some type of bond here. Let's go back to that interview because the reporter asked Millie, what type of advice does Drake give a 14 year old girl? What advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? Uh, about boys. He helps me. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. He's wonderful. I love What's him. What's his advice with boys? You know, that stays in the text messages. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks it's incredibly weird that this grown man is giving this young girl advice about boys? Like, if it was, like, a little bit of, like, a, I don't know, like, maybe because, you know, Drake was kind of a child star and maybe he's been trying to, you know, help and protect these other child stars, but it doesn't seem like they're talking about, you know, I don't know, being a child star or being in Hollywood, but talking about Millie's relationship with Boys. Millie did take to social media to clear up some rumors, but she wrote, Why you gotta make a lovely friendship your headline? You guys are weird. For real. I'm lucky to have people in the business extend their time to help me further my career and offer their wisdom and guidance, which that's what I thought he would have been doing, but you told us that he was talking to you about boys and that you guys were texting I miss you with each other, so it doesn't really add up. Another artist that Drake has been accused of getting a little too close with is Billie Eilish. She's done an interview with Vanity Fair every year since she's been famous, and it's pretty cool because they compare the current year to past years. But the person interviewing her asked her about the famous people in her phone, and she revealed that she had been texting Drake. But like, Drake, come on. Drake? Drake is like the nicest dude I've ever spoken to. I mean, I've only like texted him, but he's so nice. Like he does not need to be nice. You know what I mean? He's at a level in his life where he doesn't need to be nice, but he is, you know? So in this interview, Billy was only 17 years old and we learned that she texts Drake pretty often and that he was too nice. So obviously a little concerning, and I don't quite understand why Drake would want to be texting Billie Eilish. Actually, a lot of Billie's fans were worried for her because they know that Drake has a past. So Billie actually went back and responded to everyone talking about her relationship with Drake. 
She went to Vogue and she told them, everybody's so sensitive. A grown man can't be a fan of an artist. There are so many people that the internet should be more worried about. But like this article acknowledges, there is an undeniable pattern that Drake has been befriending girls that are much younger than he is. I want to take you guys back to 2010 because Drake was 23 at the time and he was going around touring and performing at shows. He decided to pull up a woman onto the stage. He proceeded to go and kiss upon her and dance upon her and grabbing her all around. If you watch the footage, it's clear that the woman is uncomfortable and she doesn't really like that Drake is making these moves on her. And then Drake proceeds to ask the woman how old she is and she reveals that she's only 17. First, Drake had a bad reaction to this because he just realized that he's a 23 year old man kissing a minor on stage in front of everyone. But then he made comments like, ew, gross. I'm so sorry. Uh, I can't go to jail yet, man. Why do you have to look like that? You thick. Look at all this. Drake has never publicly addressed this incident, but it's clear that it is not a good look and he realized it at the time, but the way he handled it was pretty gross. Like, you don't look at a minor who you just violated and say, oh, well, you you thick. So, like, is that your way of trying to justify that she deserves it or something? But there are two more women I want to talk to you guys about today. First off, I want to talk to you guys about Hailey Bieber. Back before she married Justin Bieber, she was Hailey Baldwin. And in 2016, she was 19 years old and she was actually accused of having a relationship with Drake. At that point, he was 29 years old, 10 years older than her. Drake met Haley when she was only 14 years old, so they would have been dating about five years later. So it's definitely bizarre to think that he would have dated a woman that he knew since she was a young teen. If they did date, they definitely didn't date long, but another weird relationship in Drake's history. Finally, we need to end off this video by talking about the woman who turned 18 years old and Drake rented out the entire restaurant to celebrate her birthday. So Bella Harris is a model that Drake has known ever since she was 16 years old. And when she turned 18, Drake actually went to DC and rented out an entire restaurant for her birthday. I don't understand why a 31 year old man would be so excited to go and rent out an entire restaurant restaurant for an 18 year old girl's birthday. Unless he'd been manipulating her for the past few years, ever since he met her when she was 16 and preparing her for this day so that he could go and violate her. We can't say the G-R-O-O -O groom word on YouTube, but that's what it looks like to me. Because Drake went all out for this 18 year old girl's birthday, a lot of people suspected that they were dating. And it didn't help that she posted a photo of them on her Instagram and captioned it, no place I'd rather be, with a blue heart emoji. When it comes to Drake's relationship with Bella, that's pretty much all we know. I'm sure that a lot of these women have to sign NDAs, or if they don't, they probably don't want to speak out against Drake. Drake seems like a really charming guy, and I feel like that's a tool that he can use to go and manipulate these young girls and make them believe that he's the good guy. That whatever he's talking to them about or doing with them is all good and all right. But like that one article said, there's an undeniable pattern that Drake has here. And in my opinion, he needs to slow it down because he's starting to look a lot like R. Kelly. And you guys already know how that's going for him. And honestly, I do 
like Drake and I enjoy his music. So I really hope that he stops with all these young girls because it's not only weird, but the public is starting to question his motives. And going back to Millie Bobby Brown, she said that he gives her boy advice. If you guys saw my video about Millie Bobby Brown and her ex-boyfriend, it looks like he's giving her horrible boy advice. So I don't really believe that this man is going out of his way to try to help these young girls or mentor them because I feel like he's trying to take advantage of them. There's no way in hell that Drake is renting out an entire restaurant for an 18 year old girl just to go and give her some lessons and talk to her about her report card. So I'm calling BS and honestly Drake needs to watch his back because it only takes a few women to come forward and expose him. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's my my email. If you have any other video ideas for me, feel free to email me below and maybe I'll make a video about it. But let's go ahead and open a PO Box package item. I've got one right down here. Okay, so here we go. And it looks like it's from a company called, oh, oh, Exotic Elephant from someone named Megan. So let's go ahead and check it out. I love elephants. That's like one of my favorite animals. Um, I love dogs. I love elephants. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, wow. Also, I've been waiting to make this video for so long. Sorry I haven't, but I just had to make it. And it's so crazy to see how both of the Drakes, Drake Bell and our boy Drake, um, is over here like, you know, getting himself, getting themselves into, ugh, into some shady things with young children. Sorry, this is a big box, okay. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Oh, I love the packaging. Oh my gosh, it's some CBD, which actually I'm going on a plane tomorrow, so I could probably use this. Hey Sloan, I wanted to tell you how much we appreciate you and the insights you share on your channel. We know it's not an easy job, so we wanted to share a few products from our CBD line to help ease your stress. All they've included some cream in a bathtub, tab and a travel sized sleep lavender oh my gosh i could totally use that um if you want to know more uh about us our website is below and our social medias which i will link below and they also have a code slo4n10 for 10 percent off your order so i'll list that all below that's so exciting thank you so much megan i really appreciate that let's go ahead and check out what she sent me so it looks like right here there's some type of is this the oh the like the pure relief cream so it looks like it's some type of cbd like rub on cream which is so cool we love that this i think is the bath tab which they all have like a scanning thing on it which is pretty cool i don't think you guys could like scan it through the thing but it looks like you would put this in your bath and it would be all like cbd infused and then finally here is the travel sleep little uh lavender moment which i'm definitely going to use this next week when i'm traveling thank you so much megan definitely go and check out their brand listed below and i'll see you guys in a new video soon Bye, guys.